it is like really oh my god disgusting oh my god but like just oh good morning So, Parth is away, and that means I'm alone. I've never quite liked being alone. Oh gosh, it smells like staying in here. And the smell is all because of this table that I'm working on, but we'll close that door. I must have if you have jaw problems. <laughs> Shall we fix this? <laughs> so Parth went to visit his family. He left last night at about 3 a.m. Since COVID, we've had very few nights of being apart. This actually aligns with some of my fears of being alone. So I want to know if you actually notice something different about me. And the thing is my eyes. You might not notice, maybe you will. This eye is usually swollen. It has been for like four years. I think linked to using an eyelash serum. Today I woke up and it was like this. Yesterday I woke up, it was like this, like back to normal. It makes me so happy because you know, it's not even actually in some respect, I think that the swollen version of this kind of looked better with makeup on and stuff like that. But this is like my heritage. So it actually made me sad that it was no longer like that. Grateful that right now it's like this and I'm hoping maybe the longer and longer I go, maybe it'll go back to normal permanently. Cross your fingers for me. That project that I'm working on in the other room is an entryway table for right here. And obviously to go above the table, I need a mirror. And guess who I convinced to go with me to get a mirror? My mom who lives next door. So we're gonna go to HomeSense. I always love crystals. We came to the grocery store to pick up some stuff to Walmart. But while I'm here, I figure I might as well check out what decor they have because Walmart sometimes is like such a hit in terms of things that are cool. But right now I'm in the Christmas aisle and I don't think that's the aisle I need to be in. <laughs> see. <laughs> Quite a little selection of lamps. I see some options come back to that and I also want to check the mirrors. I did find a mirror at Winners, so. This one looks exactly like the one I got, except bigger. And bigger isn't always better, but sometimes it is. Now I wonder how big this is, but all I have is this from Winners and I broke it. <laughs> see if we can do this here. Hmm. 28 inches, which might be more appropriate of size. I should get it. Oh. So I bought the other one already. But now the question is, black or gold? What do we think? I think maybe black? So I have dinner at my mom's shortly and I realized I had some meats that like are gonna go bad if I don't cook them. So I might as well cook them and have them ready for like lunch or something for tomorrow. Although if I'm being honest, Perth did leave me with like a bunch of leftovers, which I thought was very sweet of him. So if you wanna see what I got in terms of decor, I only got a couple things. The two mirrors, which are different sizes, but circles in black, and so you know, pretty standard. And I got this, which I thought was really cute. It was from HomeSense. So it was $25, but it has a little bit of damage on it. Like, can you see this? So I asked if they would give me a discount and the girl was like, I can do $22. And I was like, I'll take it, thanks. <laughs> but I think that will look really cute on the entryway table. Got some candles. I used to get like Ikea candles, but I don't live by an Ikea now. And then I was getting paper candle things from the dollar store, but they were dripping everywhere and that was really annoying me. And then one of you, Michelle, commented saying something about like paraffin candles compared to soy candles. And I think there's like certain types of wax that doesn't drip. And so I believe these are of the kind that do not drip, but I also don't see what they're made of, but I believe that these are the kind that do not drip. So hopefully they are that. 
some fruits, my favorite chips of all time. These are like the healthy Cheetos. I say healthy loosely. They're like healthier. They're still by Cheetos and they taste pretty good. And then I got these, which my guilty pleasure, what can I say? This bowl is also from Walmart. Success though, the apartment no longer smells like stain. I have got my zucchini, thinly sliced up. I've got some beef, hot, kind of put some oil in it, and then I'm looking up a recipe here. <laughs> I made it last time, but I forget. JK, I looked at the recipe. It's literally just that, very easy. Just like more pepper than normal. I also add like this special blend of mixes that my mom always does for everything. And also I'm gonna cover my hair with a towel because I don't want it to smell like cooking. You know how it goes. I can't be the only one, but also I might be the only one who does this, but I always do it. I like really don't like when my hair smells like food. And maybe because I put so much like hair oils and stuff in it, it just absorbs it so fast. So, hello. <laughs> A little bit of that. So I'm just letting that cook up, but stir fries and like dishes on rice have been something that's been such a staple my whole life practically. And I think that's my mom being Chinese and just part of her culture that she just kind of kept in terms of cooking. I mean, I love it. I love stir fries. I love dishes with like gravy on rice. Definitely like a rice girl, fried rice, white rice, jasmine rice, all the rice. Also basmati rice. Oh my goodness, so good. Such an easy recipe, but so good. Also, I didn't really follow instructions. I just looked at ingredients and was like, some of this, some of this, some of that. I actually find myself better at cooking when I'm alone. Not like the quality of my cooking, just like better with like getting myself to cook when I'm alone. I will really enjoy this tomorrow. So good. You could get this at a restaurant. That's what I still have in my pocket. <laughs> This broken tape measure made it a paper. I'm late for dinner. Got a skedaddle. Good morning. So I have my morning tea here. Yesterday at my mom's house, it was really nice actually to be with my family overall. We were there till a little bit late and just chatting and stuff like that. I kind of got back and like, I have this thing since I was a kid where I'm a little bit scared of the dark. And I wonder where that comes from. If it's like, I watched a scary movie when I was a kid and then that just like turned that fear on. When I'm by myself, even if when I was in Toronto in like the most high rise, secure apartment, I always would still like when I'm by myself have this fear of gotta check my closets, gotta check any spare room. I don't have that fear normally, but when I'm by myself, I do. Usually I'll turn off my closet light, but if I'm by myself, I'll leave my closet light on. So it's not just like this dark hole that I look into. Yesterday I was just thinking about it and I was just like, man, how can I kick this? And then I guess like one of the only comforting things and like this is, sorry to go so personal, but it's like, I guess on some level, it's whatever is meant to happen is gonna happen. I can only take the steps that I can. And at the end of the day, I guess I'm not really alone, even though I am alone. It kind of like freaks me out the idea of having a bigger house. By the way, I felt like this since I was a kid. If I was at home by myself, I'd be like, oh my God, I would lock myself in my bedroom. So I fear having a big house, being by myself and being like, oh my God, can't go to the basement, can't check everywhere. So I don't know, I need to fix that, I think, somehow. Let me know if you have any ideas. Anyway, excuse this huge scar from picking at my face. Today, I'm going to put some of the final top coat stuff on the entryway table. I might hang the mirror and then I'm probably gonna like edit because I have so much to edit. I'm changed. Now we are off to do the burn. Also, guess what you guys? This is the third day of my eyes being symmetrical and having my original eye shape. <laughs> I hope it lasts. I seriously do. I hope so much. Oh gosh, it still smells to the maximum of stain in here. Wow, I gotta close the door. Got this. Excuse 
excuse the massive line on my face. I just did the second coat and in between I sanded, which you know what? This now puts me in a position where I feel like I have to do something that I really don't wanna do and that I've been putting off from practically a year. And that is my coffee table. I didn't know that you need to sand in between coats of varnish because otherwise the wood kind of lifts and so it's kind of a dust magnet. I have never done the sanding and then the re-varnish and therefore so much dust sticks to it. I'm going to fix that today. I don't look forward to this, don't get me wrong. I'm done <laughs> and I'm tired, but I'm glad I got that done. Now I just have to wait and I bet I'll be like really bothered by the smell for a good chunk of time. So I'll just not have a coffee table for days. So guess what? Two unfortunate things have happened this morning. Do you see it? It's swollen here again. So I lasted the longest I have in like four years with them being the same in my original way, but it's swollen again today, let's see. If it goes back, cross your fingers for me, but it's okay either way. And the second unfortunate thing is that the power just went out and it could last up until maybe like six hours. But you know the silver lining? I had just, just turned on the kettle and went to brush my teeth and the kettle had enough time to heat up. So I get to have my morning cup of tea. Another positive about the power going out is as soon as it went off, it just got so silent. The fridge turned off, the AC turned off, all the little systems that are hooked up turned off. And it is so quiet in here and it's so peaceful. It's crazy how much just like little noise was going on, but that you just kind of condition yourself to not listen to. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful. It sounds beautiful. Silence sounds beautiful. While the power is out, I'm going to try and do all the work that I have slotted for today. Do you wanna know what I have? I have an insane amount. I would never normally leave this much to one day, but it's just, I have no choice. I'm going to take my end table. I'm going to stage it in the entryway so that I can wrap that video up because it's Tuesday and the video is supposed to go Wednesday. I'm never usually this late. <sighs> Then I'm going to try and finish editing the whole video, take the thumbnail photo, and I need to edit the thumbnail. And then I'm going to my mom's for dinner. That's a lot, but I feel good about it. I guess if there ever was a day for the power to go out, this would be the one. Hopefully it comes back on by the time I'm editing and my laptop's gonna die. The silence is beautiful. And this is what makes me wanna like live in the woods or like live in the country or live in the middle of nowhere. It's just like the opportunity to just have silence. I am deeply concerned that it's gonna reek of varnish in there and that when I take the piece out, it's still gonna smell like varnish. I'm like a good percent concerned. That will give me an instant headache and I'm pretty sure my heat isn't working. That's really bad timing. Maybe I should close my bedroom door. Cause typically what I would do is like, I would take it out, but then I would just open all the windows and stuff. Oh yeah, it's bad. Okay. And it just totally occurred to me that the lights aren't working, so it's gonna be so dark here to film anything. Hi, caramba. But also a moment for this table because the table's, um... dang, it looks so good. Now we need to decide on the mirror. We have two options here. That might be the right size, but then this is the bigger one, which I feel like might be too big. I don't know, maybe I've got to see it hung. <laughs> Does this look like the right size? Maybe it's too small. Oh my goodness. And now round two with the bigger mirror. What do we think? I feel like maybe it's the bigger one. <laughs> this is $79. The other one was on sale for 40. I did a little hack for hanging this by myself. I kind of like scraped the top of the mirror across the top of the wall. It left a little mark. <laughs> so that's perfect. A little bit of the black paint rubbed off. And now I can see exactly where I need to hang it using my chopstick as a measure. Approximately. So mathematical. Oh, 
My nail, it's gone. Moment of truth. I like it, it's perfect. Apparently a mirror is supposed to be between 50 to 75% of the length of the table. And this falls within it. And the smaller one did too. Now I did get a couple things. Cool vase. I wanted to get a little lamp, but I couldn't find one. I have this thing that I made out of blocks. This clock that I also made, but I don't think that goes. Okay, like it's not perfectly decorated because I just pulled things that were around, but like I'm obsessed with this. I love also just like the functionality of having a mirror here before I go out. I'm so thankful this went smoothly. Look at it, so nice. Don't mind this, that stuff all goes in there. I'll move it now. Amazing, love it. Hello. I warmed up some of my beef and zucchini with rice. Delicious. First bite of it. Hot. Mm. So good, so easy. What can I say? Taking a little lunch break and then I will be back to editing. Because it is currently 2 p.m. and I have so much still to edit and my thumbnail to make. But hey, hey, check it out. Yeah, most of the time I'm in pajamas. What can I say? Tea. Good morning. It is actually not morning. <laughs> it's 1.30 and I've been up for a while. I woke up and I made myself tea and then I vacuumed the house spontaneously because I wanted to like clean the air duct thing because it was like full of dust. Trying to drink more water. And in case you're as invested in my eye situation as me, it's now been two days later. Yesterday it was swollen, today it's not. That's looking good for like a one week time period, like symmetrical. So while I'm at it, I decided to actually clean out the whole air exchange system and it is like really disgusting. Oh my God, disgusting, oh my God. They're dead, but like, dis oh, what in the actual heck are those? Ew, 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 oh my god, oh my god, nasty, ew. Oh, why are those in there? We'll never know. That's disgusting. I need to vacuum it. I cannot even touch it. You guys, that is the actual epitome of disgusting. Holy, and now I'm wondering what else is up there? What else is up there? I can't even see. To be honest, I'm in absolute disgust. I also am like terrified now to like take out the thing. That's actually just nasty. Ugh, just disgusting. Ugh. And now there's just like dead bugs in here. What even are those? What the? F do you see that? Ugh. You are bent to like take this whole unit out, which that's not happening. And honestly, I'm not even touching that. I can't even. Sorry, and I don't mean to be dramatic. Just imagine pulling out. So when I first opened it, a big hornet fell out. I didn't think there would be like freaking five others in there. Yuck. I can't get over the bugs. <laughs> Not sure why there would be hornets, but uh, if one of you guys know, please let me know. I just wanted to update you on just like what's been going on. I was editing until 4 a.m. and then I woke up and I was editing again until basically when it went live and it went live an hour late. So it was really exhausting and then the next day I really felt drained from that. And then yesterday I went to edit a short and it was just like one of those things where it just was like taking way longer than it should have. And I did the full voiceover recording, edit, synced everything, adjusted all the volume spikes. And then I just hated it. I like had my mom over for dinner. We had a nice little candlelit dinner with some lounge music. It was cute. And then after I sat down and I was like, let me just watch this one more time. And I watched it and I was like, I hate it. <laughs> so then I like revoiced over it, redid all sorts of stuff there. I felt kind of defeated from that. That, so I didn't really want to film that. 
Today, it's also my sister's birthday, so we're going to go to dinner. Hopefully I can like get a bunch done today and it needs to be my productive day, but I am starting to edit and stuff kind of late and then I have dinner at six, so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me company this week and if you enjoyed this video it would mean so much to me if you hit the like button and leave me a comment.